my YouTube friend. It's Monday in the shop. I'm going to show you the aftermath of the shop after the weekend. It was a really busy weekend. We sold a lot. Uh, it actually doesn't look too messy, but there are some things we got to work on today. Let me give you an update of the shop. Okay, I'm making progress in the front of the shop. I started dusting and cleaning as much as I can. I took off these shelves. I decided that I'm going to turn this whole wall into loose figures. Just stuff in bags like this. Or like this. Or like this. That will give me a lot of room to hang up the loose stuff, which I still have all over the store. So I figured that will help me clean up that a ton. I still have to clean up this whole area. It's a mess. Uh, I still have to work on this area. It's a mess, but we got rid of two boxes worth. One's right there. I got to uh, bring that to the basement. This is just a box of garbage, I think. I'm going to have some room on those shelves once I kind of clean this up as well. Okay, over here, my friend Sean traded in a Millennium Falcon over the weekend. I'm going to sell that probably for like, oh, I want to say 50 bucks, but it actually might be worth more. I have to look into that. Uh, and then these trays, I'm going to try to bag up a bunch of this stuff, or like that stuff, and this stuff to the front, just so I have more room. I just want to clean it up so this isn't such a mess. Stickers, I got to figure out how to get the rest of the stickers on here, because that's almost empty. Uh, Blu-rays, DVDs, that kind of stuff. It's kind of a mess here. And that's another box of mess. Uh, this shelf has some room opened up. So I might actually bring over some pops from the other side that are just kind of like random pops just to load the top of that shelf so I can get rid of one bin. All right, let's go over there. Oh, well, I did sell one big pop right there. Which I think all the big pops are on the shelf. Uh, and then we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes, but they're all like half full. So probably about three boxes left, which I think I can get on the shelf because the shelves have a ton of space on them right now. I am supposed to have a collection of about 180, 190, 200 pops, somewhere around there coming in. It's a mystery. I didn't even see what's in it. He just said he's moving and he needed to get rid of them. So I said, you know, bring them in. I'm ready for more pops because we have room and we've been selling a ton. Over here is pretty full. I have the soda bag here for 25 bucks. It doesn't have the, it's just the bag. I don't know if anyone's going to buy it, but that's about what it looks like it sells for on eBay. Okay, this side needs a little bit of organizing. I've been making a little progress. I moved a bunch of the just beat up pops from the front window just to right there, just so that I had room. And then, uh, all right, piles and piles and piles. Looks like some stuff got knocked over here. But yeah, today I'm just going to clean and organize until the guy comes with stuff to sell. I think I'm going to start with the pop boxes. Could be cool to kind of empty out the floor here. So I have room for any new stuff that's coming in today. I think that's the first job. Oh yeah, I did sell two of my robots. I have a silver robot going to Nick. I have to sign that in a minute. And I have a glow in the dark one going to Daniel. So thank you guys for buying robots. I have a bunch of you guys who said you want the mystery boxes from the last video. Uh, no one's paid for them yet, but I want to start making them for you guys. So hopefully before the next video, you guys can send some payments so I can make up those mystery boxes for you and ship them out. All right, let me package up these robots. Okay, update time. Still, I mean, these should be dry by now, so I'll probably package those up in a minute. It's been about an hour. Uh, I got every single box on the floor put onto that shelf right there. And over here, uh, I just made some more sections and I filled up the top here. Like anything that had at least two pops, it made a section. And then I kind of put the little extra stuff that's one off type stuff just over here. Yeah, yeah, making progress, making progress. Okay, I'm going to start tackling these trays, I think. Get a bunch of this done. And then uh, the collection is supposed to be here any minute. Oh, well, people ask me often if the ET sell, and we sold one this weekend. I had a brand new sealed one right there, and I just pulled them down. The guy's going to pick them up later today. Very awesome. I love selling them, but I also love having them in the shop. And now I think that's my last one in stock. So uh, when he sells, I'll be a little bit sad, but I'll try to get something else as awesome as him for the shop. Okay, the collection was a bust. The guy brought in all the bins. He had it like 200 pops maybe. But he wanted to go through every single one and negotiate each price. And I just, it was just too much. So after doing three and he like rejected, basically one was worth $50 on PPG. I was like, I'll give you 25. And he's like, no, no, I'll, I'll take that one home. Uh, and then the next one had a big dent on it. So I was like, well, PPG 17, I'm good value at 12. And then I gave him an offer on the 12. He's like, ah, no, 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 we, we won't do that one. So after three, I was like, I'm just gonna have to pass. You know, I, I just don't have the time or energy to go through every single pop. I like to give people kind of a set price. I kind of tell them 
the ranges I pay anything over fifteen dollars I pay fifty percent. Anything between ten and fifteen I pay forty percent, and anything under ten I pay thirty percent. And if it's a newer release where there's not a lot of information on PPG, I double check the price. If it's an Amazon exclusive, I look on Amazon. If it's still available, then I'm going to go by the Amazon price and not by the PPG price, which is probably higher than it's really worth. If it's like a Hot Topic exclusive, I double check Hot Topic or I double check eBay to actually see if a pop is going for $20. If PPG says it's retail price, then I don't even look it up. I just say, okay, PPG is good. But if it's a pop that just came out for $12 and PPG says it's worth $30, I double check that stuff. So I just, I think that's, he didn't want me to double check everything. He said he was going to take everything home and send me some pictures so I could just make an offer that way. I just, I like to do it in person because I can look stuff up. I can see the condition and I try to be as fair as possible and as transparent as possible so that I'm not giving you numbers that just seem out of nowhere. So yeah. I had to pass on that collection, but what's cool was uh, Raphael was bringing stuff in. So I actually got a big trade with him and lots of really cool stuff. A couple things I'm going to keep for myself. So let's go through the stuff I got from Raphael. I'm actually really excited to go through this. Okay, here's uh, Raphael's pops. Lots of really cool ones. We have three Jiraiya on Toad pops. I'm keeping one of these. I really wanted one. And I didn't keep it last time. I kind of regretted it. So since he traded in three, I'm going to get to keep one. Which I'm really excited for. Because these are awesome. Really cool looking pops. Okay, and then we have uh, Avatar State Aang. The glow-in-the-dark version. Uh, some sodas we have the spike soda which i kind of want to keep but i'm going to sell it trying not to keep too much right now we have the edward soda that's cool the cowboy bebop stuff is cool uh and a couple of michael scott's from the office so that's fun office fans will want those I'm actually kind of overstocked with common sodas if you guys want like a soda mystery box i'll do 10 for 80 dollars shipped just let me know in the comments below that you want a Funko Soda common mystery box. And I'll give you my PayPal information. All right, let's think through this box. There's actually this one I'm really excited to add to my collection. So we have the Zap exclusive Wolverine. I don't have that one yet. And that one is amazing. So I'm actually really happy to get that one. And then we have a couple other kind of Grail pops. We have the Zur and Ur Batman. Really awesome $170 pop. All right, let's see what else we have in the box. We have The Governor from The Walking Dead. Really cool pop. We have J.J. Abrams. Do like the director pops. Uh, we have Wanda. It's a pop in the box exclusive. That one's really cool. That one will sell. People love Wanda. Uh, we have a few Anchorman pops. I think he actually had the full set. We have... Oh, okay. So he actually traded for this one a few months ago. But he just recently realized that the tray was cracked. Which I did not pick up either. So I, he just traded it back to me for the price he paid. Or, well, he traded for it. So it was, I think, 260 270 Traded the same value back. Uh, okay, more of the Anchorman Pops. Those are cool. I still need that Marty. Kind of want to keep it, but not sure. Uh, the Red Gem Scarlet Witch. That one's neat. I do like the color on that one. Uh, we have the Great Saya Girl. That's fun. Anime stuff's always good. Uh, General Grievous. It's a cool pop. Uh, what do we have here? A Baron Zemo from the Collector Core box. That one's neat. He'll be back eventually. Uh, we have the Great Sayamon. We have more of the Anchorman ones. Pretty much had all of those. Another General Grievous. Oh, this is cool. Original Black Widow, which I forgot the price. I, in my mind, I guess I think I was going to keep it, but I'm not keeping that one. I got to price that one. I think it's like 60. Uh, Ron Burgundy. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob. Iron Bob. Okay, let's move these over. We have the Martian Manhunter. That's a really cool one. Uh, the Macy's Grogu. Do love that one. That one's fun. We have Mark Hamill. That's a really awesome pop. We have the John Lennon Chase. Ooh, that one's tempting, but I'm going to sell that one. I kind of want to keep it, though. Uh, oh, and then a Najiri. That one is super cool. Another Grail pop. So we have a couple of Grails in this collection. Uh, World War II Ultimate Captain America. And Dwight Schreit. Very cool. Okay, this is super cool. I got the first mystery box paid for. So Daryl bought one of my mystery boxes. I'm really excited to send it out to him. 
It ended up being about $69 in value, so I gave him a little bit extra. Uh, if you're interested in one of my mystery boxes, you can see how to get them in the description below or watch the last video and I describe what I'm going to put into each box. All right, that was a pretty productive day. I got a lot done, but there's still a lot more to do. So hopefully I see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.